This is ESPL Boxing. Delighted to be joined by a victorious Michael McKinson, who's gone 26 and one tonight. Very strong performance, Mikey. How how does, how, does, how was it in there? Um, I think they were 10 hard rounds, to be honest. Uh, like I said in the build-up to this, it was my first important fight since Ortiz. The other three, I walked straight through. I know I had a tough task tonight. He was a very proud, unbeaten guy who's never tasted defeat. Um, so I knew he'd be proud and I knew he'd be dangerous from round one, and he was. I just had to stay focused, stay on the ball and get the job done, which I did. I'm happy. Um, Mr Lawson tonight, as you said, was, was undefeated, hadn't fought outside of Ghana. Was it hard to get any kind of footage of him fighting? Did you know much about him before the fight tonight? Did you know what to expect? Uh, that's what it was. It was the unknown. He looked very good on his three or four YouTube clips. But like I said, they, they were not even out of Ghana. He was an international amateur he boxing in Commonwealth Games and things like that. Uh, I think it was the unknown. And for me, I've been in situations where I've, I've had to accept opponents on 48 hours notice and, and things like that. So no matter what style, no matter what comes my way, I'll get it done. I'm a good fighter. I think I'm a great fighter um, and like I said, I'll keep proving that until I get what I deserve. Oh, congratulations on the win again. Um, how would you rate your 2023? You've, you've been active, you had a little away trip to Italy. Um, how would you describe your, your year this year? Um, and I've had, uh, how many is that? Four since Ortiz now. My comeback, my comeback has been done. I, uh, I deserve a big name again. If you look at my record, I've had 26 wins and I've only lost to Virgil Ortiz. People need to give me more respect. Everyone that they've ever put in front of me, bar Ortiz, I've dealt with in good fashion. You know, it was a bit scra scrappy at times tonight, but I thought, feel like it was a nearly dominant performance. Um, so I've done my job. Now I can move on to what's next. No, fantastic. In terms of what's next, there were rumours you, you were going to be fighting David Avanesian tonight. If I can just ask from your side, why did that fight not happen? And you, are you confident of that fight happening next? I made it no secret. That's the fight I wanted for tonight. It's a fight no one... Uh, the majority of people wouldn't probably think I'll lose against Avanesian. They're the fights I want to be in. The fights where people don't give me a chance and I prove them wrong. Uh, so... Whatever reason it didn't happen tonight, which there was no no fault of mine. I've promised it can fight. They can try. I've been promised it's a fight they can try and push for next. So uh, early 2024, I've got my eyes on him. Yeah, fingers crossed, Mikey. Um, final question for me. Terence Crawford still holds all those belts at welterweight. I think it's a bit unclear to a lot of people what's what he's doing next. If he's going to be defending them, if he's going to be fighting a different weight. What do you think is going to be happening with all those world titles in 2024? Well, I don't think there's anybody at 147 that could even motivate him now. He beat, he's beat the main guy, so let him move up, clear them bouts up, and give us a lot of chance. Michael McKinson, congratulations on the win tonight. I'll speak to you again soon. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks, Michael.